Hello, uh, welcome to the first lesson in the arts and sectors topic uh, of National 5. So I'm hoping you're, you're quite used to this by now in terms of how it's working. First lesson we're going to look at is area of a sector. Now before we do, what I want to do is I want to have a quick look at a couple of uh, terms involving the circle that we don't really know or we may not know yet. Okay, so first here, what we're going to look at is if you've got a line going down here, like the one we've got there, going anywhere through the circle, doesn't have to go through the middle, we call that a chord. Now the diameter is a chord, it goes through the middle, every other line is also a chord as well, that's fine. The area that's created by a chord underneath that, to either side, you've got a large one and a big, and a small one, is called a segment. And they're two things that we, we may find interesting to do a circle, but we're not going to look at here in National 5. The two bits around this here is what we're going to look at. Now, when you've got a segment created around that middle, okay, around that centre point, it goes in and then comes out, that piece of pie, that piece of cake, it's called a sector. Okay, that's called a sector. And finally, if you look at that line along there, just a little part of the outside of the circle. Okay, not the whole way around. We call that an arc. Now these two here, the sector and the arc, are the ones we're going to be interested in in this topic. Now we're going to go back a little bit and look at area of parts of circles. Now, the green, the orange and the blue shape, we should be able to find the area of already. Now what we want to do is extend that idea to all parts of circles, not just when we've got a full circle, a half circle or a quarter circle, we want to extend it so no matter what part of a circle we have, we can find the area. And we're going to look at that today. So just as a reminder, find the area of a circle, you'll work with this in cylinder, it will be pi r squared. Now when we've got a semicircle like we do here, we're going to do that exactly the same thing, but it's a half. Of it, we've only got half a circle, so we've only got a half the area. And then similarly for this one here, we've got a quarter of the circle, so we want a quarter of the area of a circle. And that's quite a nice idea, but right now, we're only looking at really specific times when we've got three types. When we've got the full circle, when we've got the half circle, we've got a quarter circle. We'd like to extend that so we can look at any type. And really the interesting bit isn't in the pi r squared. It's in that fraction. We want to know what fraction do we have of a circle. So here, what we have is we've got 73 degrees of our circle. And we know that in a circle, the total is 360. So what we have is 73 360ths, or 73 degrees out of a total of 360s. So we're doing exactly the same thing, except fraction's just a little bit more minging. Same idea different fraction and we can extend that to a general idea no matter what angle we have no matter what angle is in the middle there if we put that angle over 360 and multiply it by the total area of the circle we'll get the fraction of the circle that we want let's call that sector area so sector area equals this wee symbol here is theta and it's a Greek letter, just used the same as X and Y, it's just like algebra. We've got the theta over 360 multiplied by this area. Okay, so that there, that's the area of a whole circle. That theta is the angle, and because it's out of a total of 360, that bit there, that's a fraction we have. So it's a fraction of the area of a circle. Okay, now that's going to be the first start of your note. So you can copy that down for me. And we'll do a couple of examples and then we'll let you try a couple and move on. Okay, so the first one we're looking at, we're looking for the area of that sector. Okay, so we know that sector area, and this is not one that we get on our formula sheet, so we have to remember it. So you're always thinking, okay, I want the fraction I'm talking about area, so I want a fraction of the area. Now, the fraction I have is 72 degrees out of a total of 360. 
and I'm multiplying that by pi, the radius of that circle is 6. So it's pi times 6 squared. And every time, go back, if you can't remember how to do it, okay, I just want a little bit of the whole area. Same again for the SQA, we give an unrounded answer, so 22.61946 and so on. And let's do three sig figs, so one, two, three, the next one's a one, so it'll round down. So it's just going to be 22.6, it's an area which is in two dimensions, so centimetres squared. Now that's using that basic example. We're going to look at one that's slightly harder, but not by much, which we have cut the circle up, but it's not be a, a piece being taken away. You've got two different possibilities for your sectors. You've got a small sector there, and you've got a big sector here. Now, the small, you may get a clue from the question, I'm looking for the major sector. The major sector is a big one, and the small sector is called your minor sector. So you have to be careful to make sure you're using the right. You have to make sure you're using the right angle. So if I'm looking for the sector area here, again, it's a fraction theta over 360 of the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. Now, we have to be careful to make sure that angle is correct. If I'm looking for this major sector, the angle I want is there. Now, 110 is a minor, so the major is going to be 360. Subtract 110, because we want to know what's left in our circle. So that's going to be 2 to 50. So our working becomes 2 to 50. Oops, I've done a double equals there. How silly over 360 multiplied by pi, the radius here is 8.3, so we're doing 250 over 360 multiplied by pi times 8.3 squared, our unrounded answer is 150.2946 and so on, and if we do 3 sig figs it'll be 150, again area, 3 significant figures, so uh, sorry, metres squared, so it's 150 metres squared. Now that's two examples. Again, if you could copy them both into your notes, that would be amazing. There's two for you to try. Okay, I'll pa pause it now, give it a try, I'll put the answers up in two seconds. There you go. Now, just a wee note, if you're not getting the uh, correct answer here, Make sure you're using the right angle. That 60 degrees is not at the centre of that sector. You want the angle at the centre, which is that one there. So just be careful with that. Any questions, let your teachers know. Thank you. Bye.